On today's video, we're talking about trim details for a modern house. On today's video, I wanna to talk to you about traditional trim elements in a house like this one that's got some more contemporary or some more modern detailing. We worked specifically with Hugh Jefferson Randolph and Ann Tucker from Studio A to refine these details, but it's ultimately my carpenters that installed them. But everything we're talking about today is someone else's design. I, I can't take credit for any of this. So first, let's talk about base for a more modern or contemporary house. You'll notice in a house like this, we've actually eliminated or flushed the base in most areas. In one or two areas, we've actually eliminated the base, so the drywall comes all the way down to the floor. You can see there's a nice reveal at the bottom. We did that with a reglet detail at the bottom. But those are limited areas. You want to be cautious about that because anytime you're using a, a Swiffer on your hardwood floors or uh, a vacuum cleaner, it's really easy to ding the drywall and cause a damage there. We like to use flush base whenever possible. Base does have a, a good place in our houses to help protect that home from those normal everyday dings and bumps. And in this case, we've flushed the base or done a recessed base detail. Check out my other video. I, I talked specifically in this house about how we installed it here. But this is a much more traditional element. Be cautious, however, though. Know that this is a more expensive detail, a lot more painting, a lot more finished carpentry, a lot more sequencing to get this right. So you won't save money by doing flush base, or in fact, you won't typically save money by doing these more contemporary trim details. Let's go around the corner and talk about doors and casing. Okay, next let's talk casing. You know, it's often in modern houses like this one that casing is omitted. So in fact, we've got the door jam showing right here. This is an interesting and a modern detail that I really like, but it's kind of a tricky one to pull off because we actually need to install these door jams early in the process before drywall goes up, which is untypical. Most of the time we're installing drywall and then coming in and putting trim on top of it to hide that reveal. So this is gonna take a little extra time and a little extra money. However, I love the detail. Now that you can see it in place, look how pretty this is. In fact, the architect designed this door with this kind of panel system above that I'd never seen before. I love how this turned out. And the dark gray color really makes it pop on this. Okay, last, let's talk about cabinets and trim on cabinets. Okay, we've talked about base and casing. Let's finish up with cabinetry for a modern house. Our architect and our interior designer worked with wood mode for these cabinets in the kitchen. I love this beautiful high gloss finish, but this detail is what I wanted to point out. Anywhere cabinets are meeting another area, whether it's a wall or a floor, it'd be traditional to see scribe mold in that area to cover up that gap or any minor differences. But in this case, we've scribed the cabinets. That means that we've, we've actually put a pencil line where they made up against the wall or against the floor. And then we've used a belt sander to get that line nice and crisp all the way across. So when they get installed, there's really a tight joint between those. You can also see that here at the island where the island comes down and mates right onto the floor with no additional trim. That's really the hallmarks of a contemporary house. Work with your architect and your interior designer on these details and of course hire a good finished carpentry crew. Modern houses, they can be a little tricky, they're a little fussy sometimes, but when you see the final results, they're absolutely worth it. Thanks for joining me on The Build Show. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next time.